In this video, I would like to make a point that security interest is a contingent property right. Now, when personal property is offered as security, uh, a security interest is created in favor of the lender. This security interest empowers the lender to seize the collateral and sell it in case there is a default on the loan. Now, in order to understand the function of the security interest, uh, the following distinctions must be kept in mind. First of all, a security interest cannot be enforced unless certain conditions are met. For example, a security interest cannot be enforced unless there is a security agreement which creates the security interest, which describes the collateral that is being offered as security, and the description of the collateral is sufficient for the identification of the collateral. Furthermore, the lender must give value to the debtor. Now, without giving value to the debtor, the security interest is not enforceable. Third, that the property that is being offered as security, that must have some uh, property relationship with the debtor. In, in other words, the debtor must have property rights in the collateral. You just cannot pick somebody else's personal property and offer it uh, as security. Now, it is not required that the debtor must completely own the collateral. Uh, what is required is that the debtor has property rights in the collateral. So security interest is itself a property right that is created in favor of the lender. And this security interest empowers the lender to seize and sell the collateral, but only upon default. Now, even though a security interest is enforceable, if uh, certain conditions are met, and this is the important point that I'm going to make, a security interest is not exercisable unless default occurs. In other words, if the payments are being made according to the schedule, and if uh, no default has occurred, uh, the lender has no legal basis to seize and sell the collateral. So security interest in that sense is a contingent property right. It cannot be exercised unless default occurs. In other words, the exercise of the security interest is contingent upon default. And in that sense, uh, there is a distinction between enforceability of a security interest and the exercisability of the same security interest. A security interest is enforceable when certain conditions are met, like value has been given, a security agreement has been made, and collateral has been described. But even if the security interest is enforceable, it cannot be exercised unless default occurs. And by exercise, I mean that the lender now has the legal power to uh, seize the collateral and sell it to get its money back. So make an important distinction that every security interest which is enforceable is not necessarily exercisable. A security interest can only be exercised upon default as agreed to by the parties defining what default is.